comforting, like the clouds she flew through. Only when you're gone so long. Her mother's voice drifts in, warming the room. She joins them in a tight embrace. I'll always come back, <laughs> he says. He takes out a sealed bottle from his jacket and hands it to the mother. He apologizes for only being able to get enough for ten months. He seems really sad about it. Don't worry, the mother says. I'll manage. I always have. And soon, the house is filled with the warm glow from the fire, the sounds of laughter, the smell of a roast, and the little girl could not possibly be more happy. After dinner, the girl asked her father for another story about the pilot. He looks at her as a smile slowly spreads across his face. My friends, let's all go together and listen to Father's story. This way. Trajan. Oh my god, that's a name! Yo. Mario Ball. Shoot, I can't get in. There we go. The young girl yes. jumps into bed, and the father and mother sit either side of her. The father tells another story about his daughter's favorite hero, the pilot. Each time the father would revisit this story, the pilot would be on a new adventure. But each time, a few themes remained the same. The pilot flies to new worlds with his legendary ship, and wherever he goes, he meets new friends who need his help. The odds would be stacked against him. But thanks to his trusty legendary ship, he always saves the day. The girl remains awake till the very end. And then the father asks, as he does at the end of every story. So, why do you think the pilot helps people? The young girl squeezes her bunny doll and cheers. Because it's the good thing to do. And the mother and father look at one another, smile, and then laugh. The daughter doesn't know what happened, but she laughs with them anyway. As her parents leave the room, the girl asks if, when she grows up, she can fly to other worlds to help people, like the pilot does. Of course, the father says. You'll be the great, and someday you'll save the day too. The mother looks out the window. They tuck her in. The father turns off the light, and they leave the door ajar for their daughter. My friends, Let's go back downstairs and let her sleep. This way. Falcon. Mm. Yeah, this is sign language. It's just gonna be hilarious, Falcon. I'm literally popping all those pop. Hey, I can peek. I'm literally pop out all those pots like that. Hey, I can peek. I'm literally pop out all those pots like that. Hey, I can peek. Literally pop out all those pots like that. Hey, I can peek. Literally pop out all those pots like that. Hey, 
Hey, I can peek. Literally pop out all those pots. and it is headed directly for the rebel camp off of the radar's edge. That's... She begins, but her voice falters. Yes, says the father. The dark monument. Last time it was deployed, it laid waste to everything from Eternic to the Aquavi Islands. The death toll was in the millions. Fire fell from the sky for weeks after, and to this day, nothing grows anywhere near there. Hidden forest camps, on networks under towns, it doesn't matter. Nobody is safe from this thing. Sending it there could only mean... He doesn't finish. He doesn't need to. I'll join you, the mother says. I was an engineer in the military. I can help. You were, until they discharged you for your condition. He takes hold of her shoulders and looks her in the eyes. The moonlight from outside dims and the room goes dark. I need you to stay here. Protect our daughter. The gray soldiers will easily detect her potential. They'll take her away from us. We can't let our daughter become another weapon for them. The mother feels as though she is in a nightmare. Can't you contact the Ethos Coalition for help? The Coalition's resistance ships won't make it in time. I can outrun that abomination. I smuggled them into the camp in the first place, so it's up to me to get them out of there. I'm their only hope. His hands slide down her arms as he takes hold of her fingers. She's trembling. I was the same as them. A refugee on the run, remember? And then he rescued me. I have to return the favor. It's... It's the good thing to do. Reluctantly, she nods. He kisses her and rushes out into the night with his things. The house is cold and dark once more, and the mother and daughter are left alone.
A year has passed. The father has not returned, and the daughter has just turned six years old. The mother lost contact with the Ethos Coalition months ago. However, every night she waits. Every night she turns on the radar, sits in the chair, and stares at the night sky. Tonight, her daughter is with her, and together they watch, wondering if the moon is going to reappear. The silence is broken by the daughter. Mama, are you going to listen to the radio all night again? The mother doesn't answer. Daddy said it's bad for your heart to stay up. The mother looks down at her daughter, smiles, turns off the radar, holds her for a while, and puts her to bed. She promises that she will sleep on time and closes the door. The mother goes back to the radar and turns it on. She listens with her head in her arms. She listens until sleep takes her. A loud voice screeches. Attention! Attention! This area is under martial law by order of the Grey City. Surrender all ether users immediately or face execution. She changes through channels, but it's everywhere. She presses her hands against her ears, but the voice fills her mind. What's going on? She looks at the radar, and she sees it. It's already over the forest. The cursed ship is here. But why? No, she doesn't have time to think. They have to escape. The mother rushes upstairs, wakes her daughter, and dresses her. The daughter only has time to grab her bunny doll before a banging sound echoes from the ground floor. The sound of splintering wood terrifies them both. They run toward the outside balcony. Quickly, my friends, this way. Damn, she's killing us tonight. She 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 oh boy. Oh no, not the house. Not the dog. <laughs> what the dog oh, doing? Nick, can I get a picture of you two next to I'll be fine. What the dog fire. doing? You gotta there. jump! I message you more, but it's very hard to reply. My friends gather around. Who are they? cries the girl. Mama, I'm scared. The mother holds her daughter tight and jumps from the balcony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She hits the ground hard, landing on her side. A sharp pain yeah, shoots through her now broken rib. Okay. But her daughter is safe, and that's all that matters. She stands and looks around. The forest is on fire. They must be trying to prevent them from leaving. She looks around and she sees areas where the fire hasn't reached. It's the only way. My friends... Run with me. Run. 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 Watch out for shoot. Hold up. That was a fast run. No? Stop here. Yeah, I got pretty good legs. Fast. <clears throat> I didn't see it. My jet ski. Here, isn't it? Light. She struggles to run. Her daughter is heavy. She glances over her shoulder. Dark figures are circling, circling the house, peering through the clouds of smoke. Then the mother looks up and she sees it. 
A horrifying shape eclipses the moon. Its silhouette drops a blanket of slow-moving shadow, smothering the land below in darkness. And it's creeping slowly, unstoppably, toward them. She places her daughter on her feet and kneels to look her in the eyes. Mama is going to run, and you must run too. She barely manages to get the words out. You must not let go of my hand. Do you understand? Do not let go. Is that a monster? The daughter stammers with eyes welling up. No, don't look at it. The mother cries. Take my hand and don't let go. One of the soldiers yells in the distance. The mother grips her daughter's hand tight and they run. The mother's heart is racing. The fire is unbearably hot and the smoke scrapes her throat. My friends, the mother and daughter have been spotted and are now being pursued by the dark monument airship. Together, they must find a way through the burning forest and so must all of you. This is your first quest. Listen carefully. Click the yellow save point. Run as fast as you can. If you can't make it, use the fast travel menu to rainy camp. Run for their lives. Begin. Come on, y'all. Go on. Yeah, the, the yellow Someone actually right. screamed? Oh, no, that's a sound effect. I suck at this. Speed run, speed run, speed run. Woo. Hello, boys. No, go back. Speed run, Let's... speed run. Wait for it, wait for it. Wait, wait. All right, go for it. Screams. Have to go through this shit all over again. In the agent, the guy has no recollection of his memories, but he does have an ear that isn't mentioned as to how he died. He was an airship captain. In this story, he would have an earpiece from his own airship captain. I think the main connection is that the end of the agent it talks about the horizon and the the way I made it. It took me a while. It literally just happened. I thought we were just out in there having a good time. Did you get to the end? Not only that, it was also the largest group they ever had. 
about having memories. I got some times zero times get fucked. I'll stick around though. I'll see how it goes. Yo, dude. Yes. Is the dad dead? Probably like another five minutes. We don't know. It's like a break. You need to go on a bathroom break. You have about two minutes. I wonder if this is happening backwards. Two minutes. Where like yeah, the agent um, is happening second. Speedrun. Yeah. 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 Or like in between. It should have just been a lot later, dude. Like, <laughs> like a fucking low. The agent would have to happen later. I could have some logical advancement. I'm curious. It's, it's, it's a lot. It's just been. Maybe. I guess I've been uh, yes. finally trying to put myself in mm. like a first. It has been a year since it's up, Brad. Speaking of, is my first step to that. Dad's dead. Oh, yeah. And, um, yeah, I don't know what it is. Yeah, I was just saying, hey. Oh, I know that hat. Cool. Right. I take your ghost. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Andy, my man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, and then the mother has to grab her daughter and they have to get the fuck out of there. Okay, cool. Great time, though. Yeah. You're pretty much yeah, just keep it real, brother. Keep the faith, alright? Okay. 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 I do not trust that guy. I let me. A lot of the I'm sorry, do you mind if I listen in or should I back up for a little? I don't mind at all. fine. I'm just, 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 I'm
The story continues. Mario! The mother and daughter stagger into a secluded clearing. Nearby is a tent and an old campfire and a pond. Raindrops pat against the canvas. The leaves of the trees and the water's surface. The ground squelches beneath every footstep. The rain is cold, but the chill soothes the mother's burns. They won't have to worry about the fire spreading this far. Inside the tent, the mother speaks words of comfort to her wailing child, cradling her in her arms. The traumatized girl grips her bunny and buries her face into the mother. The rain masks her tears, and she soon sleeps. The mother, however, does not, and keeps watch all through the stormy night. With Someone the last of the daughter's sniffles subside, I can't hear people, I think. she begins to dream of a faraway place, a dark place. She descends into a nightmare. My friends, please use the blue save point. Let's go. Oh, oh great. Onto the nightmare. I love this music. Black space? I know, right? Wow. It's one of my favorites so far. Are you all right? I like the music. Mm -hmm. It's very chilling. Sorry. Very nice. Ah, if only my night was, was straightforward. There's so many people here. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Don't worry. Similar There's enough space for everyone. Hi. Just make sure your blueberry frosting isn't touching. Oh, there, there's the other one. <laughs> Hi, Geo. Very cool. Space? <laughs> Geo, Geo is hacks. He can't. He can't use that. He can't use that avatar. <laughs> Geo is nightmare. I'm right there. Let's go. Oh shit! It wouldn't mean a thing here because I can't. Because flying wouldn't matter. Tonight. Mm. NPCs, please come forward and change into your searchlight avatars in front of the group. No way. My NPCs, please turn on your searchlights and show them to the tour group. Easy. We can dodge those. Can everyone see Lucian okay. and Leon standing next to me? Yes. Yes. Please enable their avatars. Good. In PCs, you may have a word and take your place in the nightmare at your wish. Is that a shotgun? With a terrible night of a curse. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, oh no. no. Good voice, huh? Oh, wonderful I'm night. Oh, no, I don't like this. My friends, a figure is suddenly aware of their surroundings. Of this. The walls are cold and slick. The floor is a solid void, and the air shimmers with a shadowy haze. Where am I? Huh. Who? Who am I? The unknown figure looks about, barely able to see anything. W what, what am I doing here? I was... I was searching for something. It was... There are voices, audible in the distance, echoing and distorted. It doesn't sound human, and it's drawing closer. The figure realizes they can't stay here. They have to move. Whatever those voices are coming from, it feels malicious. The figure in this nightmare must find what they are searching for. And so must all of you, as this is your next quest. 
Listen carefully, travelers. Search for a way through the darkness to the exit and avoid the monsters at all cost. Getting caught in their cone of light will fracture the girl's hope. If you are caught, everyone will hear thunder crash. Keep moving and do not stop. Through the dark, she dreams for you, and your quest begins. Take your travelers, go. Hey, Follow the Let's arrows stick up top. Together. Come on, Lumpy. It'll lead us to the end. Traitor, just let you know that. I don't have oh, go go slow. slow. The arrows are a deception. If you run into something. No, they they do actually lead to the end. I checked out. No they do lead to the end, but they're waiting for you amongst them. Oh, we have good lighting, though. That's careful, good. careful. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, this is a shortcut. Uh, wait, we can go. Oh, this shit, way. you can go. Through. Everyone through the wall. Wait, and then the arrow. Shh, wait. It's we, like late. We can uh, talk, we up. can talk. Okay, don't go down there. No, don't no, go down no. there. No, don't go down there. Oh, Come on, guys, get in, get in. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh yeah. Get in there, boys. <laughs> Be right I back. For, I was waiting for you. Be right back. <laughs> Thank you. That was something. Carbon. Makes him more quite crazy, eh? Oh. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds you like it. Yeah. Last time, didn't we? It's what? what am I mm, no. It's a very specific sound effect that I hear. Well, yeah. Well, seen some people got caught. Maybe it has to do something yeah. with not getting I spotted. Like that. you can't get spotted uh -huh. at all. Like maybe right. that. Maybe it's like crazy. something. Thanks so far, three or four people have been caught. I'm just happy. I wasn't trying to see. I only heard two. I was I always, I always wanted to see. I only heard two. But I don't know. Cell's not oh. open tonight. Oh, no, there's, there's the third. Trick with this maze is there are fake walls that you can use to hide. So you can potentially skirt around the... Yeah, you didn't say that, man. I'm sorry. But it's you know what I'm saying, man. I lost a cell. I literally saw it walking through the walls until I lost the... Oh, cell? Yeah, I don't know what happened. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm That bastard knows what he did. I found the path. I found the path. Yeah, man. I just followed you after that. And then I just ended up like trying to go find a bean pipe. I don't know what the fuck. I didn't see a single, a single little shit. Ivis just, Ivis just mashing my body against the wall. I mean... Uh, yeah. uh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. I mean, hello. Didn't make it. Oh, shit, was like great. So I had to work. Okay. As soon as I saw one of them, I ducked into a big wall. I think it's kind of around the fake walls help right now. Take what? Mm -hmm. right there? Just pointing. Uh, I don't see any of them. I don't see any of them. I don't see any of them. I may have been a wrong... I may be just... I'm laughing so much at you. Come on, if it's guy, it's in the end. The guy, the guy. Ask a disco. Aww. Oh, dear. Stop hugging. 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 Stop hug
Yeah, it's tour time, me. come on. I'm so curious if I freaked out. Ah, Trey jumps me. Little rat boy. And then, uh... I should go get the camera. Because we're ready. My friends, the story continues. The girl wakes herself up, screaming in the dark of night. Her eyes filled with tears as she frantically calls for her mother. Quickly, she comes to comfort her terrified child. The daughter begins describing a dark place with monsters, but she struggles to speak through the trembling. The mother rocks her in her arms, telling her it was just a nightmare. Not to worry. The daughter tries to go on about how the person her nightmare was searching for something. But her voice is shaking too much. The mother interrupts, telling her it was not real. She's safe now, and they both need to get ready for the day's travels. Together. They sit rocking for a while as the rain dies down, revealing a morning sun, shining like a golden orb between the parting storm clouds. The mother thinks to herself that the town of Shade has always been a place rebel supplies move through. She should be able to find something on the location of the Ethos Coalition. The mother checks the sky. Clear. For now. My friends. This way. <laughs> He's mentioning the Coalition a lot. My performance was sufficiently terrifying. Yeah, yeah Lucian, that was pretty awesome. Yeah. Really just say piss cube? No way I just heard him say that. Zelda, if he real. Oh my god, it's Zelda, if he real. Zelda is always here for laugh music when I enter the This is literally Hyrule Castle Town, but like, I swear, every time I see this hotel, I swear it's as Hotel Rome. Oh my god, it's 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 Hotel Rome. Ah, don't worry, Jag. My friend is right here to help you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, next time. Next time. Well, how make you sure that I didn't catch you? My friends. don't know. As we were walking here, I overheard one of you say that you're not sure of the details, but it doesn't matter because you're having a good time. You're having fun. I'd like to say thank you to whoever said that, because that's exactly why we're doing this. I'm glad you're having a good time. A bright spot in the world. That's what we always try to do here. My friends, the story continues. The town of Shade is a small, busy, unfriendly place. The people here don't smile or greet each other as they pass. The mother and daughter feel unwelcome in such a place. The mother doesn't know who to trust or who is loyal to the Grey City. First, she needs to find a safe place for them to get some proper rest. The mother books a room, which the innkeeper says will be ready a little later. She checks the sky then tells her daughter that they should gather supplies while they wait. They likely have a long way to go tomorrow. My friends, 
This is your next quest. Listen carefully. All of you must explore the town of Shade. Scattered around are various supplies and clues the mother and daughter need. If you find an interesting looking item, please click it. It will appear in your tab key inventory once you do. You have five minutes to search. Please return here in front of the end door before the time is up. My friends, I kindly ask you, please don't be late. The sky is clear for now. And so your quest begins. Good luck. Is this your kind of you should have put it. I got a map. Am I supposed to? I clicked on it. I clicked it. Can I go in here? Everything that you see. I'll find out. What? Lumbo. Come here, Tom. Items, items, I need to... Wow. <laughs> hey. Just, just parkour, is it? Sure. Speed collect as much as I can. Light zoink, Scoob. I'm not a sussy biker. Hmm. Mm, dinner. Ooh, pumpkin thing. The fudge? I can't jump. I don't have a unique engine. I've been making the noise myself. I was. Oh, I have. Geo, you gotta what? update my photo too. I am. That's right. Three items.
Okay. Okay. Nope. Not yet. So like cut loosely. Mm. I said loosely, <laughs> and this was like I'm pretty sure the only thing you wrote and got heavily re it's rewritten by you, you who criticized everything you put. Yeah, pretty cool. If I could lean, well, if I could lean back, his if I could lean back, Yulius criticizes everything I put into the CWT too, even though yeah. his, his wording <laughs> yeah, so. could use a lot I of words. Have that emote. I should probably yeah, put it in. Yeah, okay, honestly, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it, it could actually. Okay I'm I'm pretty sure, like, I have to actually go to the. I have to actually go to the handbook and then I can correct so many things. Yeah, like this. Already. I could tell. But I don't blame him. Yeah. you're out of time. Mm -hmm. Lighter, 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 lighter. Give you the hey guys, my announcement at the end. Oh, will you be here at the end? <laughs> Alright, I'll be sure to mention you call you up front if that's okay. I found a red. I found an item Not called Rat's Comfy Scarf. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe it belongs yeah, to me. Yeah, I guess you're smart, bro. Yeah. Oh, Rat. Yeah, come here. I got something called a pillow. Yours is chill. You can wear it. They have, like, glasses inside of you. Oh, my God. Your blot is blushing. Your head and crest. Funnels. No shit, huh? What the fucking revelations? Tell this bitch fire him. Revelations. Anyways, is this the avatar you like? Oh, I use I see. So I was just asking. I was asking. Anyways, I do. I probably need photos. Story Oh, hold on. Well done. Hopefully, you all found what they need. The innkeeper tells the mother the room is ready. This way, my friends. Mm. <laughs> ah. The door opens the wrong way, but I'm leaving it like that. It's a funny thing. I love that. Okay. Have to sit in. I'm gonna go take a bath. Bro, watch the Technic jet, bro. bro. Okay. Okay. Did they take a nap? Watch the yeah. jet. Yeah, immediately going. I mean, yo, I kind of want to take a nap. <laughs> see, that, 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 <laughs> see, that, 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 Hey Jake. Yo, is that a sussy yeah. back? Yeah. Wanna help me take pictures for the handbook? Shush. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, I would just pictures of people. Like, general, general pictures of people, I guess. Okay. I can do that. Like, I, need to, I, need I don't want to bring you in that. Geo, excuse me, Geo. Geo, I'd like you to know that you are wonderful. <laughs> Thank you for being Geo. Oh, sh thank you, Sheen. Aww. That made my day. How adorable. Oh, nice. Geo is the reason I'm here, ladies and gentlemen. I know that Geo works very hard to update the lore recordings of everything that we do. Geo, Ooh. without you, we wouldn't be who we are today. Thank you. Thank you. I, that I, mean, that I means a you, lot. Gio. I'm very happy. Atta boy. Fantastic work, Geo. Hey. Get it. Mm -hmm. Sussy back at no, we're 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 pecking, we do have to commit to it. No, so we're gonna say that. Delicious. Who said sussy? Jacksu! It was Jacksu! I'm gonna show him what the fuck you said. What are you guys talking about? Sussy, sussy. I'm gonna put it in my heart, baby. No, you're not gonna tell me. It was Spieler Vanderbilt. Bring it, bring it. Who calls him sussy? We're not playing a monster. Now time to watch the show. What do you mean, this is a monster? He is Mooka Man over here. No, I'm my the L man. In this headset. I'm the story continues. The two make their way up to the prepared bedroom and begin settling in. It's quiet inside the inn. Clouds have gathered outside once again, casting the small space in a dull gray light. Finally, they can rest. The daughter is helping her mother sort the items they gathered today. She wants to help by carrying a few of them in her own little bag. But she isn't sure which items to choose. My friends, listen carefully. 
press the tab key to view your inventory. If you're in VR, hold your right hand above eye level and press the menu or jump button. My friends, you have five minutes to discuss and decide as a group which three items the daughter will carry for her mother. Your time begins now. Okay, I will say first, God, how do I open the menu? one of the items has to be heart medicine. Right hand up, press the menu. Uh -huh. um, the uh, uh, yeah, my inventory, the as the British would say. Uh, without... Alright, what, what you got, Rat? What do we... Okay, I believe we take Colshin info one, one, two, and three. Is it in the library? Thank you. Um, the items we're taking are for the daughter specifically. The mother is taking taking all sorts of items from the town, like on her own person. This is for the daughter's bag specifically. That's all. Okay, never mind then. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, so I got the pilot. Uh, I we should try and take the coalition info because yeah so we can check it in the library and the main reason when we got here the mother was like we should find some information about the coalition I really want to learn things like about the dream egg and like the frozen you never know I think we should try out one of the two dreamers items. Maybe coalition. So you're saying? I believe we should definitely bring the coalition info, all three of them, one, two, and because we can then bring them to the library. And the reason why we came here is because the mother wanted information on the coalition. So we should take the coalition info. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I have I have two and three on my inventory. Yes. I have one. We all have a shared no, I think we should at least have a like, dreamers, uh, one of the, the dreamers items because the information is good. The reason why we want the coalition info is because after the tour, we can... Yeah, we use the last one. Okay, so for you guys, uh, you more uh, we're going to be doing coalition info one, two, and three if you get randomly called on. Okay, we're going to do all three coalition infos, just making sure. All right, just want to make sure with all y'all. All right, so Sammy and Greg. Coalition infos. Somebody can, anybody can get randomly called on to ask for the items. I believe we're bringing coalition info. No healing items. Yeah. Good, good. For we're going to be in pain and bleeding out to death, no. and we couldn't fix it. Oh. Nice job, guys. So that we will be able to find out what we're going to be taking. To be fair, we know what we're To be fair, we're doing this, this willingly. I am being sarcastic. I'm joking. It's, it's okay. It's okay, my friend. Hey, I have a cure for that. Just don't get hit. We are talking about a little kid here. A six-year-old. If Chris can do it, this kid. Equalization. That is a brilliant plan. Just don't get hit. Why haven't we thought of that before? I mean, I mean, like, I hey, if some nerd, like, yeah. bullet, I mean, the strategy you know, you've been using is lightsaber <laughs> deflecting with your keyblade, <laughs> like, yeah. which it doesn't look like you have it on your person, <laughs> just your own gun. Get up, stand up, good shot. Do you really think I don't have it on me? Don't shoot me. I mean, your outfit looks different today. Yeah, because I just got it. Oh, that is just cheating. That is a crime. It's just you too. Oh, the dad. Why is she dead? I'm going to move you. Alright, I need you to pose, Jay. Yeah. Is, is Hammer Is that like a thing of dynamite? Alright, that was good. I got the photo. Um, I think it's apparently just his body. That one like for sure is going in the Hambo. I'm surprised he's not an agent like Jay. I might have taken that. He's not going to be a good guy. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to. I could make that new title. 
<laughs> Can milk at me. Have you fought a guy with a new title? <laughs> Just VRT smash turn, oh, like yet. smash champion. Hmm. Thirty seconds remaining. Way, I, I, I repeat, never, thirty I seconds remaining. You okay? Shaders. Oh, yeah, yeah, actually, I, we got, we got that means I probably have to update right? every time it changes, so I don't want to do that. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? It's like having a full map avatar as if I could activate the little jet ski things that make you go faster. I am pretty sure that I have the record for like most picture changes so far. We're taking. Oh yeah, coalition and group one, two, and three. Okay, coalition. That big B lady. Her avatar is so cool, but it's scary. One, two, and three. I just work as a fighter. Coalition info, one, two, and three. Yes. Coalition, coalition, one, two, and three. Oh, that lady scared me so bad in the maze. That's it. The giant mantis. Yeah. That's from WoW. Is it? Is that? It's a it's a mantis raid boss called Grand Emperor Sheikzir. Random oh shit, pepperoni. Grand and Proshikzir. Grand and Proshikzir. Has expired. Chris Snow. I repeat, Chris Snow. Tell me, <laughs> what is one item the daughter will bring? Yo, you are, you're asking the wrong person, dude. I was like, yeah, okay. I think something about coalition item number one. Yes. Coalition item number one. I see. I'm taking all three of them, aren't we? Froggy Vivi. Hello there. Froggy Hello. Vivi, tell me, what is one item the daughter will carry for her mother? Coalition info number two. Coalition info number two. HTTP Cami. Collision number three, please. Hello. Ah. Oh. Excellent choice. Coalition and vote number three. I see. The story continues. The mother sits on the bed, leaning against the window frame. She's tired of running, tired of hiding, but she cannot stop, not yet. She looks through the window at the town as the evening sun sinks behind gray clouds, painting the buildings with a soft pink light. The daughter jumps up on the bed, cuddles up to him, her mother, and holds tightly onto her bunny doll. Are we gonna stay here? She asks. I, I wanna go home. The mother brushes her daughter's hair to the side. Not for long. We're going somewhere else tomorrow. Somewhere safe. Is that where daddy went? The daughter looks up at her mother, hopeful. I think so. You need to sleep, so you can walk with me there tomorrow. You need to sleep too, the little girl nudges her and places a hand over her mother's heart. She can feel it beating steadily. The feeling comforts her. Daddy said, I need to protect Mama. The mother breaks into a heartwarming smile. You already are, my angel. Daddy says you're a good luck charm, as though you have friends watching over you. Friends watching over me and Bunny? She looks at the ceiling, but there's nobody there. The mother laughs. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The daughter squeezes her bunny doll 
and goes silent. She thinks deeply for a six-year-old. Mama, will my friends watch over your heart too? She puts an arm around her daughter and pulls her in, and her answer comes only as a whisper between them, a fragile breath. I hope so. I hope so. The daughter nods and snuggles up close. She falls asleep within minutes. The mother wipes tears from her own eyes and looks back out the window. Night has come. My friends, mother will keep watch while we all sleep. For what is good never lasts. Please, use the blue save point to follow the daughter into her dreams once more. Uh, let's go! Be careful. I'm excited for the riddle. There it is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy, I'm... Oh. Be careful. Yo, yo, back up, back up. Don't Come back. Oh, no. Don't fall, fall off, off the cliff. The edge, because you can, you can and will. Oh, my arm really oh, fucking my arm. Do try not to fall off, will you? I'm gonna have them. Okay, I'm gonna have them. Oh. oh, this one. Are we all going to go one path again? Bye. No. This is There he goes. This is I don't nice. have a good feed. Ow, my knees hurt. Ow, yeah, face from a Mori. Oh no. my gosh. I've never, I've never played this before, so it's all very new to me. I mean, it's kind of nice to so offend you because we're going to another story. <laughs> what? I knelt down my knees. Mm. Yeah, this is really good. Attention. Please. Tonight's NPCs. Please come forward, stand next to me, and change into your dream mm. eater avatars. Sheesh! <sighs> this one. Oh boy, I can't wait. I have a feeling it's probably going to be a completely different yeah, question from the last time I was here. Uh. Oh, no. Oh, it's Pog. Oh, my gosh. Kingdom Hearts. Oh, my gosh. Kingdom Hearts. 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 The unknown figure becomes aware. The air is colder, but their vision feels somehow sharper. Perhaps this place is a little brighter than the last. The last place. Yes. This isn't the first time this person has ended up in such a place. What am I looking for? What must I find? Yes, they have to keep searching. The person is suddenly aware of something behind them. Glancing back over their shoulder, they see only swirling shadow, and they are filled with a sense of dread. Something is coming. Something is following. They stand tall, determined. They will conquer this void. My friends, this is your next quest. Listen carefully, travelers. Find a way to the end of this nightmare. This time, there are no monsters to avoid, but instead a pair of dream eaters blocking the exit. Gather around the dream eaters and answer their question together as a group. Good luck and hurry. Exit. Okay. All right, I believe we go left first. I must, I must find the path and see. All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to follow left. Geo. Get real. I ah, geez. Get there White the pictures. Uh, I always go Geo in that way. Their heart will keep Their heart will keep beating. My heart will It's this way. I'm almost certain. So which organization uh -huh. member? Which What's your number? Is that a sussy? <laughs> sussy. 69. Stop being a sussy 
Four, three <laughs> arms. Oh, there they go. <laughs> man, Lucy made it. Man, those man, Lucian was never the same as the steroids. Do you have three arms? <laughs> oh my god, you do. I can only lie. Oh my god, he does. Yeah, he does. Not even once. Oh Lucian god, was never the same. See, Lucian was never the same after he took steroids. He looks like he's straight out of Blood Bowl. Another up. Uh, he looks like he's from uh, Legend of Zelda. What? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Winter! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Living in a hard shell. Living in a hard shell. Turtle power! I mean, no one looks like you kind of. <laughs> I don't believe if I'm it. in any way being a By the way, this is my first time. So so I'm all the <laughs> same loss as well. I saw this one like uploaded a while ago. I was super interested, but, but I kind of forgot about it after a while. Well, it's all uh, it's all used for this uh, this kind of event. Don't don't get us to. We are so of a kid. Dearest friends, mm. please give your attention to the dream eaters. <laughs> I am the future you thought you saw in your dream. I am the future. I am what you thought you remembered in the present. Huh. I am the future. Okay, I'm not so good questions. with riddles. I am the future. I think it's yeah, I'm not really good with riddles. Can, Can you play that again, Rat Boy? I didn't hear if there was a third line. It reminds me of the agent tour. I am the future so you nice. thought you saw in your dream. I am what you thought you remembered about the present. I I something to do with the, the future and the present. I am what you thought you saw in the future. I am what you thought you remember in the present. I, I, I feel like this has to be related to the, the other four, right? <laughs> this feels present, so similar. Nothing about a past. The man in the corner. <laughs> oh my no, god. No. Guys, think about it. Is it true? <laughs> does, this, does this riddle seem to relate back to the agent a lot? Yes, that is why I said yep. that. Think about it. <laughs> what was the agent trying? I to haven't remember? seen the agent, so I'm letting you guys. Oh wait, no, I think I was um... in the. I can't. I think I was in the agent, that but it's been a while. Well, we're getting so sidetracked. Let's focus. No, that was last week. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what we're doing. Well, 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 maybe mm, what yeah, you remember it is the answer. You got I was anything trying to remember. Mem memory. Uh, well, I got a, I got a very generic answer. My friends, no. and you <laughs> have about 30 seconds left to answer oh, the Dream it, Eaters okay. riddle. It, oh, it could be, um, it, it could be the pilot, right? Because, right? should we say we're the agent about, about the pilot? We're thinking about which one. Yeah, right now, I don't think good. I'm not good at all. I'm not good at all. I'm not good at all. Should we say the father, right? Like, it, it, it doesn't help. It doesn't help. I, I was late. <laughs> Guys, yeah. what yeah. does deja vu sound like? I think yes. deja, that sounds Ooh. very like. Uh, uh, I was going to suggest something generic like hope, but you know. I think deja vu is the answer. Did you just punch me? Yeah, so be, we're all gonna. Could eh. it be the past? Because I like deja vu a lot, actually. Yeah, deja vu makes that. sense. Mm, that right, or so, what he said. You know, Doesn't the first deja, one talk is about everyone okay with though? deja vu? <laughs> is everyone okay with deja vu? Uh, I said, like, wait, you could I see the past repeating itself in the future. Yeah, we don't we don't see deja vu in our dreams. I don't think that's a good answer. Yeah, no, that's why I'm not. That's why I'm thinking it's not it. Because it also relates to this two on the net. That's two on the net. We only have thirty seconds. We have less than thirty seconds. I think if like the nation sets out and never had it being the past. We dream about the pilot, and right now in the present we need the pilot because we're like hopeless. To the past, Look, someone, someone answer. Someone has got no to answer. We have answer. We have to answer. We have 30 seconds. It's not going to be like that. Not right, really it's not day shy, but we have 30 it's seconds. It's not going to be some huge answer. The last one was Spider Web, just as a frame of weapon. 
Yeah, but, uh, I mean, bitch. Wait, today? Huh? I think you know, we're split on past wow. and deja vu. Wow, what I mean? Deja vu. Deja vu. Wait, we fuck it. We, 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 all of us. We have all of us. Now we're taking and actually be able to input an answer. Deja vu. Deja vu. Deja vu. Is that all of your answers? No. We can have more no. answers. No. Wait, I say the pilot. <laughs> <more answers? laughs> all or of the you father. have to give an answer simultaneously. Those are. Uh, yeah, we. Guys, have we, to we don't. You. We don't <laughs> dream <laughs> about <laughs> deja vu in the future. We have no better <laughs> answer. What's our better? Answer? Answer? Give me a better answer. Give me a better answer. I'm going on the past. I don't know. Or the past, sure. What? Geo. Today or deja vu? I like those answers. I have to be careful okay, not to talk um, about this, because okay. I have a voice acting today? thing. But sometimes it goes today. off randomly. Yeah, today, today sounds good. good. Um, today. Oh god. But today. Today. Sure. Is that your final answer? Today, the answer to this riddle? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> can make a, a title for uh, using your voice. <laughs> final answer. Final answer. Crazy. We're still <laughs> fixing it. <laughs> Yeah, what was the fucking answer? Damn it! No, they won't. No. We tried, boys. We'll I tried. I was I fucking knew it. That wasn't the one. <laughs> I smelled the fucking presumption. Those days, I'm gonna be ticked. I said either were good answers. Yeah, what about they shy, boo, baby? There's some good ones. Farewell, if you like. Everything was not by each other. Goodbye. Pilot. No! Pilot. No! Bye bye. Bye. Unless the dream no, is supposed to fall off the edge or something. The darkness yeah. from which they came. Oh, never mind. Interesting. He referred to us as. Bro, it's crazy. We continues. We fudged up. As pilot. Fuck. You did not. Chocolate fudge up. I assure you. Don't worry, friend. <laughs> Hope <laughs> is still possible. Okay then. The unknown figure passes between the strange nightmare manifestations and enters a new space. There isn't much of a visual shift, but something feels very, very different. There's a sense of vast openness, yet without the freshness of being outdoors. There comes a scent of dust and rust. They look ahead, peering into shadows that feel distant, and a shape begins to take form. It is colossal. It hangs in an abyss, majestic and imposing. The person perceives more and more of it. Its wings. Its wings cut through the darkness like great blades of night. And there it waits, motionless, expectant. My friends, please use the blue save point. Mm. Yes, sir. <coughs> yes, sir. <coughs> that felt new. There we go. My corner. Sussy. I'm the real point. What can we just. Last, when I was on the pilot last time, we ended up getting the man in the corner after the road. But you think? Yo, Nick. No, that's pretty no, neat, but... I must <laughs> Honestly, I wanna try to... I'm like, I would like to do it again, to get more here. context. Oh, oh, oh no, shit. Uh-oh. <laughs> The girl is jolted awake by a loud bang that shakes the room. A vase topples from the table and smashes on the floor. We, we have to go. Get dressed. We have to go now. The girl tries to explain to her mother about the nightmare, about how she knows what the person is searching for. The room shakes again, cracking the window this time. The girl stops mid-sentence when she looks through the broken glass. Its image distorted, fragmented. Listen to it hangs in the night sky. It is here. The monster is here. That's what he sent me. 
It's following us. The little girl shrieks before tumbling from the bed <laughs> and pushing herself up against the back wall of the room. Yo, what up? There are sounds of a firefight outside the town. Don't look at it. The mother comes to grab her. It's going to be okay. Mama will protect you, but we have to leave now. The world comes down around them. Everyone, this way. <laughs> I see you, Jackson. Nope, not this way. Back. Where the fudge? Oh, here we go. Oh my god! There is a fire! Oh, drop a bee. Oh, the hop the hoppy cube. He, he's the hoppy Jackson, cube. Drop now. A bee. He's the he's the bunny cube. Yes. Let's get it. Why can't we just hide in the sewer? Good question. Yeah. We won't go anywhere from there. Alt ending. <laughs> Sewer ending. Beep beep. Oh, this is. Has this always been here? Hello? Yeah, let me, let me get my yeah. sword out. Oh, that's, where we're, that's where we get it. Hold on. I got my buster ready. Someone say a sword. Oh my god, that's sword. so cool. Yes, there we go. No, look, look. Yes. No, hold up. I'm gonna summon my sword now. I'm summoning it. Bro, I'm not that tall, I can't get his knees. Oh my god. god. Yes, we're about to go crazy up in this shit. Bro. Got my buster. Yo, is it an enemy? Not on this one. I'm doing a fire attack! Gather around and listen carefully. The story continues. The daughter in tow. With the daughter in tow, the mother is her way to the town exit opposite the firefight. In the street, the mother spots a motorcycle lying on its side, still running. She goes to lift it upright. Halt! A large soldier appears, armed with a gun blade. The town of Shade is now under martial law by order of the Grey. All civilians are to report for ether scanning. Come with me. The daughter holds her mother's hand tight. The mother states they were already scanned and have no potential. She slowly backs away. I said halt, the soldier orders. He then presses a button on his visor. The mother sees this and pushes her daughter to run and hide behind a wooden crate. With a racing heart, the mother now stands defiantly between her daughter and the towering soldier. His eyes go wide as he reads his visor display. What's this? You haven't been scanned. You both are coming with me. With his eyes... on the sky, the soldier reaches for his comms, preparing to notify command of his discovery. The mother must think fast, and so begins your next quest. My friends, you have three options to choose from. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. And 30 attack. seconds to decide. Attack. Charge. Attack. 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 <laughs> Could I please convince you to put collision on this? Don't fall asleep again. I'll take that. That's so we can sit in the thing. Yeah, one. <laughs> oh, my friends, <laughs> your time has expired. The L Man 1000. What That's will the mother oh, do? What happened? 
Attack! 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 Let's go! Attack! Baby! Listen carefully. Attack! With the soldier distracted and one arm <laughs> occupied, she rushes him from the side. The soldier twists to grab her, allowing her heel to strike his unguarded torso and knocking the wind out of him. He drops the comm device, but catches her by the wrist. With the other arm, he makes a tight fist and hooks her hard in the face, fractured jaw. Pow! Keeping an eye contact with the mother, the soldier reaches... The mother was knocked to the ground, but quickly gets up. The soldier shoulders his gun blade, aiming at her heart. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. You have 30 mother's seconds to decide. Mother's instinct. Mother's instinct. Mother's instinct. Yeah, mother's instinct. So it could also it could mean like a saying or the friend. Yeah, but like you can make one of these days, bro, one of these I days, swear to God, finally have a high we're gonna do this. Yeah, that's that's actually actually about exactly to lose. We're for. <laughs> <laughs> never <laughs> aimed at our heart before. <laughs> All right. Huh? What if it just pulls the trigger? We, we, both them to live, I think. we just lose already. Ah, huh. I mean, yeah. The JJ men having a sword battle. Yeah, I think. No. Wait, having them both survive? That's like the best case scenario. We got a bad ending. Obviously, she wants to live. Black flame. Black flame. Yes. What yes. will the mother do? Mother and sense. Do we just choose that? I agree. Why? Why? She thinks to herself. Huh. She can't die here and dives to dodge the shot. It misses. She's fast, but not fast enough to get close for a strike. He takes another shot, hitting her deep in the upper leg. Seeing her slowed now, the soldier moves in close. This ha we defended last time on this one. Right? The soldier raises the gun blade high, preparing for a downward strike. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. You have 30 seconds to decide. So Let the instincts kick in. Defend? defend? Uh, have another instinct, see if it, uh, she might dodge this attack. We're just gonna go with Mother's Instinct again. I think so. That would happen. Cool. Okay, I guess so. We have to. That's what I think y'all should do. Mother's Instinct. I mean, it's a good shot in the leg. So it's just like, oh yeah, that's a defense. The amount of times that I almost pulled myself back from making great jokes. Yeah, her leg's damaged, so I'm not sure if a dodge is gonna be successful. Yeah. So either attack back, make him trip, or yeah, her legs hurt. Defend doesn't sound like a good idea because we're gonna get hit by a sword. Mother's instinct, so we can dodge the attack. But we're injured, so dodging might not be successful. Just four. Mother's instinct. Two. One. Arnif Mindrain. Arnif Mindrain, are you there? Hello. Arnif. Oh my god, you're fine. What will the mother do? Uh, mother's instinct. She moves back toward the wall as he follows. She glares at him as he gets closer. He swings down, only to find his blade stopped by the wall behind her. 
sparks fly, and she takes the opportunity to spring forward, knocking him off his feet. With her weight on his chest, he is pinned to the ground. She wails on him with all her might, wishing for each next punch to put him to sleep. But it's not enough. The soldier drops his gun blade so he can grab and throw her off. He doesn't let go and twist her left arm into a lock. She manages to unclip an incendiary grenade from his belt. But the angry soldier brings his elbow down hard, breaking her other arm at the wrist. Ouch. Ouch. The soldier looks at the grenade in her hand. A flash of fear in his eyes. The mother uses this distraction to knee him hard in the gut before moving away. The daughter, witnessing all of this, screams for her mother. Now positioned between them, the soldier grabs the daughter and demands the mother to drop the grenade or she dies. The daughter shouts. Leave us alone. Just as a blue aura erupts around her. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. 30 seconds. Defend. Instinct. Defend. Okay, we have a broken arm. And we're defend. holding a grenade. Our daughter is right in the middle. Instincts. Maybe defend so the mother's daughter doesn't instinct. actually hit us. Defend. Mother and mother's I instinct would be in the yeah. holding say a grenade. I say instinct. Defend. 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 I would defend, but uh, I have no idea. Right, so we have a theory that... Well, I mean, attack is more deadly than throwing the grenade and blowing everyone to smithereens, so, but... So it's probably mother's instinct to defend. I think we're just yeah. going with a lot of the mother's instinct. Instinct. So more, more instinct. Okay. Mother's instinct. I think defend's gonna do jack squat and attack is an insurance bad ending. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I really have no idea. I I am so clueless. Mother's and fish. I'm gonna need some fixes for this. My poor wrist. Five, four, three, two. How many you guys have to decide? Roki. Are you there? Yeah. Roki, what will the mother do? Mother's instinct. She meets her daughter's eyes and shouts, Save us! The girl drops her bunny doll and closes her eyes. The aura explodes into a torrent of blue flames. The soldier tries to block, but the pure ether rips into him, sending him flying through a wall. Severely injured, but still alive, the soldier gets up. Immediately, he runs to his mech, climbing up into the open cockpit. Just before the door closes, the mother throws the incendiary grenade inside. The ground oh, shakes, but not because of the grenade going off. A shadow sweeps across everything. The dark monument now hovers over the town gates, dropping bolts of blazing fire in every direction. The mother grunts in pain as she lifts the motorcycle from back into an upright position. There are a few bullet holes in the frame, but it's still running. She calls to her daughter to get on, but the girl stands unmoving, staring at the monster in the sky. Quickly. She pulls her daughter up on the seat with her. She still has one strong leg and arm. The adrenaline masks the pain for now. For now. We're going to be okay, she tells her daughter. I promise. We have to, she thinks to herself. Together, they speed away from the inferno that was the town of Shade. My friends, this way. 
So this thought it was a little bit more successful than the last time I did this tour. Holy hey, shit. at least we didn't die. So it's not like we can die, right? <laughs> <laughs> Motorcycle go burr. Is it like a helicopter? It's getting brought out. Stop here, friend. The bunny doll. It keeps getting brought Don't go ahead. Maybe the Wait here. Are only yeah. Flavoring the girl's color. Too bad we lost it. The story continues. They ride for hours. The trail is empty. The sound of the wind and the rumble of the engine slowly fade out of the mother's mind. All she can hear are her own thoughts alongside the painful thumps in her chest. The daughter holds on silently, eyes staring vacantly into the darkening sky. Angel, I'm so sorry. We are almost there. We will be at a safe place soon, the mother says. The daughter does not respond. My friends, this way. Oh no. <laughs> we killed her. Fuck. I mean, she can. Oh my god, for a second I thought I heard nightcore music. Nightcore. <laughs> oh, okay, we're here now. <laughs> Is it just me or does it feel faster than before? Issues. The sky is dark. The outpost looms ahead, various points of light moving about. The mother left the motorcycle on the road. It ran out of fuel a while ago. She leads her daughter by the hand, struggling to breathe as they walk. Finally, they're somewhere safe. Finally, they can take a rest. And she can heal her. Wait. Something isn't right. This is meant to be a waypoint for smugglers. Why are there soldiers everywhere? Gray soldiers. The mother breaks down. She lets go of her daughter's hand and drops to her knees. This is hopeless. They can't escape. What is she even doing? The information from Shade wasn't correct. And it hurts. Everything hurts. The pain is almost unbearable. Mama? The daughter's voice is tiny and feeble. Mama? Are you okay? The mother looks at her daughter. You should sleep, Mama. I'll sleep too, and we can go to the dream world together. She takes hold of her mother's hand. I thought there were monsters there, but I know who it actually is. It's, a, it's safe there. It's more safe than here, Mama. Let's go to sleep and forget this place. The mother listens to her daughter's words and begins to cry. She can't die here, and this poor child is already succumbing to the trauma. Her angel is losing herself. No, no, she has to be stronger. She has to make her own hope. The mother stands up and takes her daughter's hand back. There has to be a way through here. My friends, this way. <laughs> Come on, you tired fuck. Wake up.
Ship nugget. Metal gear. <sighs> they sneak through the building, carefully avoiding the patrols. They stop and remain silent as she looks at the man standing oh in the corner of the room. He's not supposed to be here. How is he here? And why is he shaking his head? Uh. Two soldiers approach one another. They stop to talk, and the mother listens carefully. Hey, I'm sure you heard, but Shade's been wiped from the map. Nothing left but ashes. It doesn't feel real, one soldier says with a strange tone. I'm not surprised. The Dark Monument is in the region, and Shade was a known supply point for the Ethos. But what if it comes here? They say it just destroys everything that's not a part of its unit. Unlikely. The machine they excavated is here. It's scheduled for transport to District Zero. They would not destroy something this important. <laughs> yeah, but... You mean that creepy mech nobody is allowed to go near? Yes. Rumor has it there is an ether amplifier on board. The scanners can't make sense of it. That's impossible. I thought you can only fit those on big warships. Don't you need to grow them or something crazy like that? Whatever it is, I heard they can't get the mech to work. It fries any equipment we attach to it. Do you want to see it before it ships out? Nobody is watching it now. No way. That thing gives me the creeps. The soldiers part ways to continue their patrols. Before leaving the area, The mother concludes that the mech they spoke of is their only chance to leave this region. She looks at her daughter. The girl has been silent, staring vacantly at the wall since they arrived. She wants to check if she's all right, but they need to move. My friends, carefully this way. Wow. Hey, yo, we still have a map. Here we go. Tyler, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. Some random person sigh really deeply and for a second. You deserved it. You deserved it. Yeah, but I didn't want to sex with you. Well, if anyone's special listening, I'd want him to know I'm just saying hi. Gather around, the story continues. What are you going to say? For those of you wondering, we are near the conclusion of the tour. Listen carefully. There it stands alone. The air is thick around it, drowning out sound and somehow the glare of the night lights. This is our only chance, the mother thinks to herself. This is the only way out. I have to get us out of here, even if... It's warm to the touch. The cockpit eerily and silently opens not wasting time, the mother motions for her daughter to climb inside with her. 
but the girl refuses. Slick. The mother looks up and sees a guard in the distance slowly patrolling closer. She kneels down to eye level and whispers in frustration that they need to fly this to where daddy went. The daughter backs away from her and the mech. She speaks with a quivering voice. No, that's not the right way. We need to wait here. What? The mother is confused and tries to reach for her daughter. We have to go now. No, it's the pilot in the dream, Mama. We need to wait for the pilot, the daughter says louder as she backs away again. Angel, please, they are going to see us. I am the pilot, and we are going to fly this to where Daddy went. Get in now, please. No, we will be safe if we go to sleep, the daughter says, louder, starting to cry. Stop, Angel. Please come down, she pleads with her right arm outstretched. Don't go in there, Mama. The child shrieks. It's too late. A soldier on the wall shouts and triggers the intruder alarms. Sirens start blaring and the daughter panics, rushing into her mother's arms. Blinding spotlights quickly discover their whereabouts, illuminating the mother and daughter, holding one another under ghostly white light. The pilot will save us. The pilot will save us, Mama. The pilot will save us, she says over and over while shaking. The daughter faints in her mother's arms. The mother pats her face gently. The sirens continue to blare. And soldiers are making their way down the walls. The mother looks at her daughter's unconscious face, then over to the mech's open cockpit. It's pitch black inside. My friends, listen carefully. You have a choice to make. Stand next to the magenta mech if you wish to stay awake with the mother. Stand next to my fellow tour guide, Trajim, if you wish to follow the daughter into the darkest nightmare. Team Cool Kids, here Make we go. your choice. Yeah, nightmare time. It's Team Cool Kids with Trajan. Do you remember the code from the agent that we tried? Like, the code that's given to us from the story? Let's do this. Seven, six. Good luck, yeah. pilots! <laughs> That's the one you want to say. Okay. okay. We're going to try that because we have nothing else. <laughs> 7643. Uh, I, uh, I gave Jay a code. Good luck, pilot. What code did you give Jay? The name of the ship. Sorry. L Records, which is a very short name. Maybe it'll work. Maybe we should inference some of those multiple seats. Yeah. You're gonna end up in the void if you go through the portal like that. We're gonna fucking die. Oh, that's right. Rule one of VR chat never goes. This is a question if both will die or one of the two will die. Group. No, we'll this guy is looking at me and yeah. oh, oh, it it kills you. My last. Hey. Uh, hey. I am dead. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Sonic is here. I'm gonna be honest. I guess it's two Tesseracts now. I'm pretty sure this next interaction is gonna go. To oh shit! All right. No. Because this is where the items we chose. My wow. friends. Wow. Your attention, please. Wonderful. I, Trajim will be your guide through the dark, and Ma will protect us while we descend into this final nightmare. Please use the blue save point.
people to send. Oh, jeez. No way. Okay, so we stay here and wait. What the fuck, Becky? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. 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 Do you remember the oh, ending? Too bad, Brad. Last time? No, no one's ever ready for a Dark Souls fight. <laughs> remember, <laughs> if it's a giant <laughs> beast boss, <laughs> it'll be easy. But if it's a human yeah. boss, we're fucked. For boss fight, continues. It's not human at all. Because that's a tree. Hang on, man. Wait, why, why my circle is over there? Awake. With awareness. As if they had just fallen from up high. The undulating void around them is giving off voices. The figure listens closely. A slow and faint heartbeat echoes between the scrambled words. They can't make sense of the sounds at all, but it feels somehow meaningful or important. That's her. No, no, my. The figure speaks aloud, interrupting the sounds, but stops and quickly moves toward the noises. Please, follow me. Oh, oops. <laughs> Oh, again. Take that ball. Hi. Like Moment to truth. Is it crumbled to dust? Mm, tripping in the nightmare water. world hurt a lot more than it's tripping in the real world. Water. This is going to be interesting. You sure? I wonder what will happen. Yeah, I'm just going to be conjuring it. Tree. Yeah, that would be amazing, <laughs> actually, so. if we had an army. Okay, okay. The story <laughs> continues. <laughs> A monumental tree stands tall in the void. There is a warm air of okay. absolute about it. Something unfathomable. Something unifying the voices in the dark. The heartbeat is coming from mm. this very tree. <laughs> this is mine. This was made for me. It was always made for me, the figure says. But where are the wings. Suddenly, the air goes cold. The void quakes and tar bubbles up. It drips down the tree and an image slowly emerges, reflecting of the black substance. A blood Moon. Through every dream, every story, every secret and whisper, I will hunt you, and I will take back what is mine. I will devour your soul while your friends watch. Travelers, face me. Fight for your pilot's soul. Oh, yo. Uh, I knew it was a Dark Souls idea. boss. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, all right. Wow. Suddenly, a tremendous sound right. erupts from right. nearby, shredding the very air into pieces. The noise shakes the figure's bones, right now. and it threatens to split them apart with sheer, raw power. From out of the nightmarish abyss, a shadow of tremendous size creeps like a spider, pulling its heavy carapace burdened with great spines of colorless crystal. 
its face is naught but a maw with three jaws, a single gleaming eye inside its gullet. Crowning its mouth is a heart, shimmering with all the colours, held hostage by the monster. Despite its first roar, the abomination does not scream now. It does not so much as grunt. It simply observes the figure standing in the middle of this nightmare. And the dream devourer readies to attack. The figure realizes they have items on them, and they quickly look over what they have. Yep, could have gone with the brain stuff. Oh boy. Moment Coalition of truth. Info 1, Coalition Info 2, and Coalition Info 3. Fuse combine, melt together, and form a pendant of hope. Due to your choices from earlier, you have one option in combat. That is to use the pendant of hope to protect. The following happens. The dream devourer rears back, its spines bristling, carapace crunching together, and with a sudden burst of force, spines are launched outward like shrapnel. The figure has no choice but to protect. They take out the pendant of hope and clutch it in their hands. They feel a strength in their mind that ripples through their body. But it does nothing against the needles. The figure takes one damage. The Dream Devourer rumbles and opens its mouth, and inside is a light, a burning light which grows and then erupts outwards, launching hellfire up into the sky, ready to blanket the area before it in destruction. The figure takes out the Pendant of Hope and clutches it in their hands. They feel a strength in their mind that ripples through their body, but it does nothing against the blanket of hellfire. The figure takes one damage. The dream devourer shifts and groans and begins to close in on itself. Its protective shell shuts, covering its vulnerable areas with impenetrable material. The figure takes out their pendant of hope and clutches it in their hands. They feel a strength in their mind that ripples in their body. But both combatants do nothing. The figure is on one hit point. The dream devourer rumbles and opens its mouth and inside is a light, a burning light which grows and then erupts outwards, launching hellfire up into the sky, ready to blanket the area before it in destruction. The figure, hopelessly, helplessly, takes out the pendant of hope and clutches it in their hands tightly. They feel a strength in their mind that ripples through their body. but it does nothing against the blanket of hellfire from above. Oh. The figure takes one damage. That was quick. Oh, man. Yeah. Losing and you guys know said that does. their body spilling apart into smoke, their voice oh, dispersing as though it had never existed. The figure speaks their last words. This isn't 
how the legend ends. I was so close. I have to find it. I have to save. All that's left is the sound of a slow, muffled heartbeat, gently mm -hmm. fading to a stop. <laughs> it's time to wake up from this nightmare, my friends. This way. And you guys said it was a good idea to get the collision info. I mean, like, we learned something new, actually. actually. Yep. Well, uh, we tried. Oh, we're the first one down. <laughs> My friends, your attention, please. Due to only having one option in that combat, we are going to finish much earlier than the other group. Apologies mm. for the wait, and thank you for your patience. As soon as they are out, the story will continue. Oh, and that reminds time. me. <laughs> Please take one uh, yourselves, as you wish. What? I'm a snuggle. Well, we may have flopped, but let's just hope that the pilot does better. Oh, uh, pilot's doing it. What are you doing back here? Oh, yeah, I know what he's doing. Oh, you, you, you want to know what the answer? You want to know what the answer was? Sure, what was the answer? Oh, you were right the first time. It was deja vu. Oh, if I had a table I'm pissed right now, I can't We had a place and everyone convinced us wrong! Okay, I think I'm done angrily shooting everywhere. Sorry if any of my blast hit you there, buddy. I was hoping that would make it out of the game. I'm holding the worst way. Like that. I lost my what are you, some omnipotent person? You lost your DS, now you're just talking. No, I just have several million of health. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you definitely right. look like a super boss, and it's also some sort of person I would find at an ancient information place, like a like an ancient library or something like that. Grand Empress. Well, turns out we actually had the the riddle right at first, but then I did some stuff to do the wrong answer. <laughs> oh my god. So we had it right at the start, and we had the right logic and everything. But I'm pretty sure, like, because my buster here is fully upgraded, it should have done some damage. Like, I mean, probably not an instant kill, but probably be like, maybe just like, one hit. It depends on how much he has. Well, well, hey, no, 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 how a max health buster looks in Mega Man Legends. I mean, it's still insignificant with your health levels, but still, probably more than you think. I made sure to max out my weapon because I literally could not find the uh, answer. So I, I literally have a hard time trying to find and uh, find and build the other special weapons you can get from the Mega Man Legends games. I'm still trying to find the right parts for my shining laser. The strongest Mega Man Legends weapon. But old. I don't know where the answer today comes from at all. Like I'm, I'm just trying to where today Heck, I'm even also trying to look for like the the blade on too. Asking, trying to get reasoning, but no one was giving it. The unfortunate thing about Legends character though is the fact that I can't do the whole switch my weapons on the fly like other Mega Man. I have to literally go to uh my mechanic buddy to uh. Or just at least in my R and D room it's back at my really place sucks. to swap out weapons. That really sucks, man. That's a shame. It's a shame you can't just conjure your weapon like I can. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. As long as I oh, have a really powerful oh, side oh, weapon. Oh, oh my gosh, mask. Oh, no. I have a gas mask. Yeah. 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 Oh, I can no. make it. Can do Sometimes it. Oh, that weapon is actually a lot of times it's more beneficial. Because it's having yeah. like a bomb. Well, then, of course, there is the fact that after I've gotten the weapon together, I'm going to have to grind a lot of stuff to upgrade to its max, like I did with my own buster. I still need to work on the system, though. Because I'm busted. And the special weapons take a lot to upgrade compared to my buster, so. It's a good thing I'm a well trained digger. Like, I'm seriously well trained. Like, a freaking Reaver bot, the main enemy, random enemies in the Legends, new, Legends world. <laughs> They're like nothing to my buster. I mean, that depends on the type of Reaver bot I'm up against, but still. Oh, thank you. They are no trouble for me. Both of you two for now, and I still want to get a special weapon because I I have been facing more than Reaver bots recently, and having a special weapon on hand could be way helpful for that. It could certainly be handy. I like this a lot. Perhaps on your alternative arm. Like, cause like, yeah. And, I mean, there's also the fact that getting maybe like the grenade arm or the drill arm could help for you know digging through secrets in some ruins. Oh, we have little shortcuts. Okay, can you hear me now, please? Okay, as I was saying, I said I'm happy I can do this, and there's nothing I can do about it. It's not hindered by having limited ammo. True. And I'd be better to have a melee weapon as well, because you know, it can be pretty gnarly. And I mean, even though there's like tons and tons and tons of ammo, <laughs> when I have a fully upgraded grenade arm, still, still arm does much better. Plus, you already have range with your uh, buster. Yep. <laughs> I mean, the one thing that is slightly unfortunate is my buster doesn't have the whole charge shot thing, but really, it's not. my max stealth buster is with a pellet that you do enough damage anyway. So it's like I can rapid fire this buster oh, on dead. compared to other Mega Men in the past. I think I do need to go to bed though. Holy <laughs> shit, <laughs> they're dead. Leon, you just gotta do the. Yay, they're not dead! Yet. I know. I know. I know. I know. I took a photo. The comparison is I got a buster equivalent to base. Go, go nuts. Yeah, base can rapid fire his We're just gonna be dead once here. The... Mm. Okay, once the, uh, once the tour is over, I'll post it on this. She's like super powered. So yes, yeah. I'm, 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 just wait a little bit. <laughs> wait a little bit. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about this. Yeah, see, he's fine, guys. Oh, I'm just going to have a wondering what the glory of Mega Man and Walnut is. I have been able to help out his friends and getting him off the move. Hey Jim, just do you have uh, oh, sure. a Legends 3 How still often do you see this on my screen? I managed to help with that part. I don't know. It's an interesting place to enter. Mine's over there. I'm on my couch. Mine's right here. Mine's right behind me. Not just that, but the rooms I entered there are as well. Do you see this car in your room or on the road? Hey, wait, it's on me. Just like the first starting out for the first time. I see it on the road. I'm not wearing your name and money in your solid. I need Arneth, hold on. Oh my god, I guess three and more. Yeah, thank you. I heard that. I just realized what you're doing. Someone play the Euro beat. Someone, someone, play, someone play the Euro beat. Intensify some sick drifts. I hang out. I've been able to understand. I don't have any. Get Euro beat. Okay, I know. Mega Man A after that one, and then before that, I'm not going to Euro. And then of course the Mega Man that started it all in the history. YouTube. YouTube. That's the Euro that was able to understand the best. Can't get it. Play. All right. No, no, no. Fair enough. Intriguing enough, though. I get it, because Luna oh, is generally written yeah. like whoever won. Damn it, my, uh, my overturned. Uh, as a result, 
What's it called? What's it called again? I don't know what it's called. I know what the reference is. I don't remember what it's called. Intriguingly enough, though, I also found out that one of the former humans that lived on that moon. Initial D. Yeah, initial D. Before, you know, they created the carbons that placed on the drowned world. The flooded world, I mean. You get it. Water everywhere. Um. No. What? They apparently made some. Everybody with long ass hair is Sephiroth, okay? So. It's the face. It's the face. It's the face. You lost your privilege. I'm gonna need you to leave. Yeah, Step he's away. dead now. Okay. Who, who is the character then? Who is this character? <laughs> Yukio Tachibana <laughs> from Samurai <laughs> Shogun. <laughs> <laughs> Not gone. He does have a little. Yeah, no, 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 like minuscule, minuscule. This is going. my gun actually works. I'm immortal. I can pretend as long as I want. I have found some interesting worlds and histories. I will never reload. <laughs> Speaking of interesting discoveries, one thing I discovered when just like rummaging around Ding's uh, bar is uh, Squidward. I should kick your fucking Especially if it touches anything with good or the side of the gun. I can't figure out why. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Is it parent or the gun? Yeah, knocked him away. I saw. I just really don't want to describe. It was horrifying. Is it a world or a world? So that's why it's just like don't put the dark gore near that ever again. I can try one. I don't remember which one works. But I think it's the third of the right way. Let me sleep. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe you can help me with this. So yeah. I've been trying to make this gun work gun for the season. Yeah. It's been years since I've done gun effects, so I'd have to re- I'd have to check myself up. Oh wait, I can't remember that. Please tell me they were successful. Oh, they're finally here. I don't want to do that. I always thought that was going to fail. Yeah, are you okay? Nothing to worry about. Everything okay? Angel is working. No, we just had a head in our house to find out about it. Yeah, we just had a collision and it was a bad idea. Yeah. After the tour, we're gonna get uh, information. Yeah. They have like a fully modeled oh, brain or yeah. something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, it seems you defend the earth and then attack the rest. Yeah. 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 What's yeah. head folk? Yeah. I don't know. It seems like we'll lose no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. I have a yeah. feeling we just got the bad ending this time. Because the last time I was here, we got the normal ending. We're getting the normal ending. Travelers. Apologies for the interruption. Dearest traveler, gather around. Dearest travelers. My friends, welcome back. The grand finale awaits. Listen carefully. The daughter opens her eyes slowly. The nightmare has left her head heavy and her mind in a fog. She hangs sideways in the passenger seat, suspended by the belts. She calls for her mother and struggles to unbuckle herself, but stops when she sees the nightmare come true in the sky. Oh, no. Far above, where the wrecked magenta mech lies, the black clouds part, and the dark monument shows itself. 
its monstrous form is like a glowing void devouring reality as it approaches. Bolts of fire begin to drop everywhere, filling the sky with red. The daughter, unable to free herself, wishes none of this ever happened. She wishes her whole life was just a bad dream. She wishes she was safe with her mother. She shuts her eyes tight and wishes for a place no monsters would ever find. The magenta mech vanishes in the flames. My friends, please mm. use the gray save point. Oh, we got information. That's what's the goal. It's exactly like April. Um, I'll post it again in the VR Travis chat, but it's. Well, you haven't even done the part yet. We should watch more sometime. Do you think that since the daughter's in the mech too, we could like drop shit off of her? It's no use. It's tech is being boring. Do our stuff. I don't know. The pilot shield is not that Like, why would the daughter do the heart medicine? Okay, that's probably why. Yo, what the fuck? Like, the daughter's dream. What if it's like, you buy like in her pockets and her mom's music? I was thinking that, like, he runs a gun too. Excuse me? Yeah, we could literally ask Sheen and, like, we can do things that he doesn't ask us. Like, we can, like, Break is drowning, everything. and the only yeah. thing you can worry about is clear. a fire person walking on water. Flex what the fuck? Is it clear? clear. I feel like it's not gonna die that easily. What the fuck? Oh, no. Someone help me help. Dearest traveler. Traveler. Uh, the story. Continue. Another worldly tree sits bathed under shifting blue light. The girl opens her eyes and is finally not met with fire, but complete silence. She manages to unbuckle her seatbelt and crawls over to the pilot seat. Mama, she speaks meekly. Mama, wake up. The little girl crawls into her mother's lap and holds her tight. But there's no response. Mama? Mama, wake up. Mama? Mama? She weeps for an answer. But no one would hear her cries. Not here. Beneath this ocean distortion. Not ever. Welcome to the neutral ending of the pilot. Man. Rip. Hey, I just realized that the clouds Such here have the same sad. pattern as the nightmare. Yeah. That's
Yeah. Yeah. Ocean blur. distortion. Mm. That sounds good. Yeah, we're not, I don't think we're in a new one. Oh, mistletoe. You gotta reuse that. Mm. Oh, I'm actually crying. What's up? Unfortunately, mm -hmm. I have to go oh, now because I got to so, uh, Let me know. Let me know what comes out of COVID from yeah. Winter. Why are you excited? Is it microphone icon over there? Ocean. 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 Ocean.
Can we shut up? Mm -hmm. Thanks for finding out. Maybe ask